Hey everyone, it's Dan, PGA Pro, Little White Balls, all that bollocks. Just uh, heading out to the course, the beautiful Hawks Bay Golf Club. It's a balmy 25 degrees Celsius. Um, and it occurred to me earlier, I was hitting some balls with my mate John, and it occurred to me earlier, <clears throat> you know, sometimes we hit it great and play to our potential, but other times we play like blind goats. So, what can we do to help ourselves, you know, through a round of golf when we're not hitting it that great? What do we do when we haven't got our best stuff? Let's uh, drive on in, tee it up, give you a few pointers on how to um, play some different shots when you haven't got your best stuff and still nudge it around. See you soon. Hey guys, we're on the first hole. I've nudged the drive up there and nudged the iron into the into the green here, yanked it, and it went to the left. So, what we're going to have to do is chip it on. Hopefully, get it close and make a birdie. But what if your chipping's off? What if you're a bit nervy about your putting? What about nervy about your chipping? What are we going to do then? So here's the ball. There's the green. And there's the flag. So we've got about 30 foot of green, I suppose. We're up quite a steep slope. So what we're going to have to do is chip it up the bank, get it on the green, get it rolling. It's all the way uphill. Back to there. And I'm a bit nervy about my chipping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cheat. We're gonna use the hybrid. Here we are, just gonna putt it. Nervous about my chipping. So I'm just gonna putt a hybrid up there. Onto the green and running. I've got about six feet. Up to there, and we've got a chance at making birdie. The reason I would do that is because, you know, if I'm a bit nervy about my, my chipping or my pitching or whatever, I could leave it where it is, chunk it, could thin it across the green, we'd do all that sort of thing. If I could putt it, I'd putt it, but because we're in that little rough bit, I decided not to. The hybrid cuts through pretty good, like a chipper. It's not a chipper, but it's like a chipper. And we ended up, you know, it, it comes off with some force and gets up towards the hole. It's one of those cock-up proof little deals. Give it a go. Works really well on those uphill shots. I was watching the golf earlier today, the match between McElroy and Shuffler. Man. That was some golf. Holy cow. You know, a tough, tough golf course for you and I. And McElroy's pounding them out there, hitting great wedge shots. And Shuffley's not far behind him, hitting great iron shots and all that. McElroy finally beats him on the last. <sighs> That's some golf. This little video is for when we don't play like that. Okay, we're on the second hole. It goes down there out of bounds to the left of us tee box here we have to go down there to avoid the out of bounds now i'm a bit of a hooker so this shot makes me nervous so what we're going to do is play the shot down away from the out of bounds notice there's the right hand tee marker and there's the left so I've got it up closest to the left-hand side. And I'm going to play a shot 
hopefully just over there, excuse my shaky hands, and ended up in the fairway. So we, we didn't have that one great, but you know what? We're in bounds, and that's all that matters. It uh, started off a little bit to the right and then came back. It must have taken a great bounce because it's now in the fairway. There it is there. About 110 out from the green up there. So again, you know, we've got a we've got a shot here into the green back there. It's tucked behind a bunker and you know I don't have my best stuff today. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim for the middle of the green, away from that bunker, over there and just let it go in. The key to this shot, swinging smooth like Freddy Couples. Caught it really good, it actually went too far, which was pretty cool. You know, <clears throat> sometimes you'll do that, sometimes you'll, you know, Freddy Couples one up and it'll go 50 miles shit happens. Nothing to worry about, we're still getting the ball around. We're not out of bounds, we haven't dropped any shots to uh, unforced errors, so you know, we're in good shape. And we're wandering around a golf course having a great time. What could be better? So here we are, we're wandering up. Excuse the click 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 of the clubs. There's me ball. Parked in the rough, gone a bit far. And there's the flag. We have got a half and half. So I've got a float, I don't know, five yards onto the green and it's a five yard roll. Dink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back foot a wedge, just dribble it up there. Play it Paul Runyon, Runyons. Put it in the back of my stance, hit it like a putt, and uh, dribble it up to the hole. Again, this is if I don't have my best stuff. If I'm chipping really well, I might whip out the 58 and, you know, try and spin it up next to the hole. But, you know, what are the chances that I play, not, you know, tour golf or anything like that. So I'm not practicing that shot a lot. Let's get it on. Let's get it close. Let's try for a par. It's going to be back here next to my right toe. All I need to do is carry it up onto there. About here. Toe up a little bit, or toe down, should I say. Hold it like a putter. Oh, hee -hee. Lip down. Easiest shot in the world. Put it off your back foot. Hold it like a putter. Put the toe down. Put it. In my mind, there are two kinds of putts. There are short ones, and there are long ones. This one's a short one. You know, we've got a reasonable chance of making it. So in my mind, it's all about the line, all right? If we can put a good line on the ball or get a good start line, our chances of holding the putt go up. We'll talk about long ones in a minute. Oh look, rainbow. Standing on the third tee. Bit of rain off in the distance. That's the third tee. Flag is up there. Behind the bunker. Slope right behind. Dangerous. What we should do is put this <clears throat> towards the middle of the green. So I'm going to pull a club that I know I'll hit over that bunker and no more. So from here at 118 meters, I know that at about 130 yards, 135 yards over that bunker, I can hit nine iron. 
So I'm gonna hit nine iron. Okay. Here we are at the fourth hole. Notice there's not a lot of room out there. So I have to get this little squeeze play fade into, into, into action here. <clears throat> so notice I've teed up the ball real low. Gonna use the driver. Squeeze one out there, see if I can't fade it back into the fairway. Do not want to go left, it's out of bounds. Do not want to go right, because there's trees and shit. Just want to hit the fairway. But I need a little bit of distance to get us in there. Not a comfortable shot, but I'm going to play it as such. I'm going to tee it down, hit it like an iron. And that seem, might seem like a weird thing to do with a driver, but, you know, it's a golf club and we can do that. So, certainly not my best drive ever. It wasn't really a squeeze fade at all, it just went straight. But, you know, in doing that, I sort of eliminated the left, which is paramount on this hole. Um, so we've squeezed it up there into the fairway, and it's, you know, I can play the next shot without too much worry. And that's what it's all about, you know. Don't have my best game, no worries. Bunt it around. It's all good. No one's going to think less of you. Tell you what, if you rock up with 42 Stableford's, no one gives a shit how good you hit it. There we are, coming up to it. Not especially long. In fact, it was pretty short. But you know what? It's in play. That's what playing great golf's about. It's getting the ball in play. So that you've got opportunities to, uh, to score. Now we've got about, I don't know, 140 metres or something. 160 yards, something like that, to a relatively wide green, and you know, we're just gonna bunt one up there and see what happens. Okay, so we bunted the, what are we bunted? We're into the wind, so it was a seven iron up there, under the front of the green, you know, not striking it great today. Looked at it. Come on the front of the green. We've got a putt at birdie. Let's talk through long putts. So, as I said before, there's two, in my mind, there's two kinds of putts. The short ones and long ones. Long ones, sort of outside, I don't know, 10 feet, three meters, whatever, have very little chance of going in the hole. Statistically, even on the PGA Tour. Um, or the European Tour or whatever. So, why on earth do we spend all of that time online? We know roughly where the hole is. There. Or over there. Stay there. So I'm going to hit it up there. Statistically, there's too much going on between, me and the, uh, between my ball and the hole for it to drop. You know, occasionally they might. Great. But all I care about on this, on these long parts, longer parts, is speed. So, you know, I know the rough line I'm going to take. Cool, forget it. Let's go now and hit the damn putt up to the hole. So I've got a rough line of what I'm going to do. All I'm going to do now is just feel the di the di the the di 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 difference. Ah, right. All right. Difference. I said it again, didn't I? Distance. Jesus. Okay, it's all I'm concerned about. I know the line. It's up there somewhere. I've got my line on the club face. Now I'm forgetting it. All I'm worried about now is hitting it there. Come with me. It's always we wander up. I've now got a no-stress par, because all I was worried about was the pace. That's it. The long ones, forget the line.
So that was that. Playing golf when you don't have your best game. It doesn't need to be hard, man. Just make it easy. One thing I would say is make the swing the easiest thing you do on the course. You know, you're walking be between shots and doing all that sort of thing. Don't force it. It's just not worth it. You'll just end up in, you know, vast amounts of horrible frustration. And that we don't want. Pick a shot you can do and play that shot. When you don't have your best game, it's all you can do. You don't have to blow up and have, you know, a million just because you don't have your best game. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Dan, PGA Pro, Little White Balls, all that sort of bollocks. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked and commented and did all that sort of cool stuff. And We'll see you next week. Bye.